anywhere you call home, one thing you need to consider is how much it costs to live there. Glassdoor compared the median base salary to home value across the country and came up with a list of cities where people can make their paycheck really pay off. Number 19 on the list, Chicago. My wife and I moved to Chicago kind of for funsies right after college, and we, we stayed. We found good jobs, we ended up buying a house, and we just kind of settled in and we fell in love with the city. Daniel Rhodes and his wife moved to the Windy City after graduation, and they've been able to stretch their pay on two teacher salaries. Illinois has like a progressive era legacy that means public sector workers get paid pretty well around here. When we first moved to the city, we started really small. We had a little one bedroom apartment, and rent was really low, and the neighborhood was far aw farther away from everything. Then they pinched pennies to save up and bought a fixer-upper, which is common in the city. A lot of opportunities if you want to get your hands dirty. And with two little boys, they use the city's free activities to their benefit. We are just a squad of four. Uh, doing as much free stuff as we can. They even say more by brewing their own beer and raising chickens, which Chicago allows and the kids love. But sometimes your job is what determines where you live. Like for Jim Doubt, who moved to the fourth best city to stretch your pay, Cleveland. I did not have a job, no. Um, we had to weigh our options and and take what the offer was and decide whether it would be worth it to us to move um, with one income and if we'd even be able to pull it off. Jim moved after his wife got a job offer in the city, but they quickly realized how far their pay could go. And financially, it's the best move we ever made. We were able to pay off everything we owe, um, all of our debt. We've been able to save, which was a pipe dream before. Um, actually invest in retirement, um, pretend like we're real adults for the first time in a long time. Compared to Phoenix where they previously lived, they were able to afford much more. We have a three bedroom, two bath house with a, with a garage for the same price we were living in a one bedroom apartment in another city, so that's a lot more affordable. And the best city to stretch your pay? Detroit. And Chase Cantrell knows that very well as the founder of Building Community Value, an organization that is helping the people of Detroit to renovate business spaces and teach them small-scale development. One of the, my proudest things is that we have a course that's called Real Estate Essentials. So it actually teaches Detroiters the very basics of, of small-scale real estate development. And Chase says that although the population of Detroit declined, the city never died. It certainly is a, is a misperception of people who come here who think, oh, Detroit is empty. And he says it's a great place to start your career. My career path that, that's happened here and those of my friends and family just couldn't happen in any other city. But if you're looking for a fresh start to stretch that pay a little further, here's a little advice. Come and check out the neighborhoods. If uh, people came here to visit, they'd be surprised at what they saw. I encourage everyone to visit. To see if your city made the list, head over to listtv.com. Stretching your salary on the top of the list.